Alrighty folks, welcome back to another episode of my own Let's Play here, where we have just come off the heels of a huge, formidable coalition war, thankfully being mostly carried by our allies, our overwhelming numbers, uh, because that was the brutal war, brutal war, really uh, putting the fate of Ulm and the fate of this campaign uh, bringing it into question, but thankfully we did being able to take Frankfurt, Nuremberg, and Meningen. We did uh, reap quite some rewards from that war, and uh, also we have vassalized the Livonian Order. Now our force limit is really high, and a uh, part of the reason that our force limit is so high is because of the influence ideas and also our policies, both of which are doubling the contributed force limits from our subjects so we actually have three times the force limit contributed from subjects now i suppose they probably combined would give about about five force limit which is uh, resulting in about 15 you know just a rough calculation there unfortunately uh we are quite affluent i'm actually surprised how wealthy we've been we've been doing a lot of development and so on but we have no manpower currently and i'm actually gonna go ahead and delete the two infantry that we do own which are not mercenaries for that reason and uh considering we have no manpower i do want to make sure that in particular our cannons are replenished now the good news is thanks to the age bonus but also uh it is in fact plutocratic ideas we actually have a total of 7.5 discipline on our infantry the mercenaries which uh, is combined with the 10 percent infantry combat ability that's pretty nice that's pretty nice so we're going to be content with that but enough ramblings here guys there's one thing i want to do before we make our next move uh, i do have a relation slot now that we've freed up denmark i've rivaled denmark and I noticed that Mecklenburg is a valid... We can diplo vassalize him. Now, with that being said, he has a reconquest here of 13 development. And uh, as I just stated, quite some... Uh, reaping quite some rewards from vassals. So I'm going to go ahead and actually ally him to reduce the aggressive expansion that we're about to get from our next war. And speaking of our next war... Poland is looking really vulnerable here as his allies are not going to back him up as they're really struggling. And uh, Austria, we actually have the favors of Austria. Oh, wow. Austria was just called in to this war. Uh-oh. No. He literally was just called in. No. Our free war, essentially, that I wanted to declare over... Poland and moreover Brandenburg is is really called into question now are we able to defeat them by ourselves I mean we almost certainly can especially because I can out tick him here as he's he's completing a military idea group uh we almost certainly can but it's it's gonna come at a price well that's a shame now if we look at this war uh, this is a war over Morocco, and Spain actually called Austria in. Now, the Ottomans were out here. They seem to have all but entirely won the war against AQ. Uh, so maybe he's not poised well to defend against this delayed call of um, Austria and Hungary. But I I'm concerned, guys. Austria actually out takes him. That's good to see. I'm concerned, guys, that um, Europe's going to take even more heavy losses here against the Ottomans in the long run. But we'll see. See how it goes. Now, yeah, I, I you guys might have noticed that I have been playing a little bit slower this series. And uh, I hope that you enjoy that. Let's go ahead and take military points finally. I know it might not be everybody's preference, guys. But um, I do actually play too quickly sometimes. I've, that is one of my faults. And uh, part of the reason I do that is because I'm kind of concerned about uh, the entertainment value. 
so I'm going to be playing a little bit slower here. As I have been hopefully a little bit more immersive and yeah. I just hope that you guys enjoy that st different, but that style. Pretender Rebels in Brandenburg. Interesting. Well, that we can work that to our advantage either way, but I have to declare this war well. Nobody's going to help them. Uh, I'm really sorry to... Oh, damn. That's... I wish that was in shock, man. I think fire is just useless for us until we get this tech. I mean, it's not useless, but it's not very good. We have too many generals. I think this general's much better. And I want my siege generals, so... Getting rid of that. Alright, enough dilly-dally, guys. It's basically us versus Poland. We out tech him. We've got that discipline advisor, of course. So let's go... While we can... Let's actually just hire Merc here to get the war goal at least. And yeah. Now I should be improving relations with the Livonian Order uh, as well. Um, I'm struggling with the fact that we lack diplomats, guys. I actually would have already liked to begin integrating the Teutonic Order, quite frankly. Okay, Venice is no longer a valid rival, so we gain some power projection from him becoming invalid, but I wish that happened while we are at peace so I can change it again. Yeah, if I was integrating the Teutonic Order, which is something that I wished to do... Then... I wouldn't have, I'd only be operating on one diplomat, and that's quite awkward considering the fact that we don't have any good CB at this stage, and the only CBs that I have is whatever I claim. So, a little bit of an awkward position here. Alright, we just spent the absolute vast majority of our surplus of cash now, we're getting quite low, and uh, we're not making all that much money. A little bit more if we loot. But if we reinforce, yeah, we're pretty poor. So I'm trying to decide, do I want to artillery barrage? Yes, I do. I'm not sure I'm going to go crazy, but I'm going to do this one here to help us get to his capital that much faster and just allow us to have a little bit more uh, access. Now, I want to max my relations with Mecklenburg here to try to diplo vassalize him. That kind of eliminates one potential member. Well, this didn't work out very well, did it? At least we can escape. Uh, that will eliminate one potential member of the coalition by doing that. But also, as I've said a few times, the vassals are kind of artificially powerful for us here wait really coalition from holland uh i guess burgundy can join that coalition i really considered utilizing my geez man if a coalition grows in austria and spain don't get caught on because of this war that's pretty grim guys i'm just saying uh, i did really consider utilizing that diplo slot for a stronger ally We could change development to hmm. Burgers are not happy. Alright, so be it. We can change development to morale of armies. Considering we're really uh carrying our own self by our bootstraps. Picking ourselves up by our bootstraps this war. Yeah, I guess we can just lose that. Nobody's carrying us on their shoulders any longer, guys. The days of Bohemia helping us in those early wars are a thing of the past. 
Rebels are still up and running in Berlin. He's making uh, fairly good progress himself. That's alright, I guess. We can base trade. I guess. These rebels will prevent Numark from flipping back. So just trying to be careful here. At the moment we're base racing, we're kind of out sieging him. The issue is that they have many more forts than we do. He's sieging now one of my total of three forts. And uh, we're getting yeah quite some just general occupations which are no longer going to flip back under our control. And including some high dev land here in Frankfurt. So <clears throat> if we could... Get good access through so we don't have to walk around his forts i'd feel much more comfortable with um fighting him especially if we can make it to this woods but i don't i don't know about that it's probably worth sitting on Warsaw in the meantime do i have access here i should do yeah i am surprised that i can't we're blocked by a hostile fort so i don't have access through austria do i did not realize that. Really? I would think that I should be able to get here. Let's at least just join up with our other army. I thought that I'd be able to get to that, but... Alright, it is what it is. I can't even stand next to the fort. Yep, he sieged that down pretty swiftly there with that early siege. Do you see what I'm saying? A lot of our land being under occupation here and it's hurting us, but same goes for Poland. Uh, so if we can just take this fort, we're going to be freed up. Damn. Damn. Sieging down really quickly there with that two siege general and lots of cannons. That's bad. All right. All right. Let's mobilize. Let's see if we can actually achieve something here. Oh, God. It's a long way around. walk like that that's going to be the fastest route feels bad man i really value my admin points so this is a strong uh, uh really unfortunate event here <sighs> how good are his generals three shock come on we've got good military points just one time before I lose this army tradition just give me one nice general please all right there we go thank you damn so difficult to get that general but we got there eventually I appreciate your game. Give me a, a nice swag and general there. Beautiful. Thank you very much. All right. So if he doesn't tick up, which he hasn't, we've got a pretty dang good advantage now, boys. Now I just want to check quality infantry combat ability. He's got that 10% infantry combat ability from quality. All right. Uh, and he's also got it from his own ideas. He's got the cavalry combat ability. Yeah. So he's pretty strong in that regard. Jeez. Okay.
I don't have the, the tab. I must have clicked there. He didn't call a crew. He called a crusade against Morocco, yeah? That's what he just did? But why would he, though? Did he excommunicate Austria? No, I think he called a crusade against Morocco. Uh, that could really help these these guys. That could really, really help them. Austria out text them. Yeah. Nope. As we can see, unsurprisingly, the Ottomans have obviously defeated the Austrians and they're sieging Hungary's land. Jeez, man. I hope that uh, the Europeans can do well against the Ottomans because the Ottomans at this stage are kind of like big boss. I'm never, there's no way I'll get there. Instead, I'm going to go for this while the garrison's still fairly low. <laughs> trying to put two on each province I wish I could get there but I don't think we will be able to so I'm going to assault this if we breach the walls which we didn't Treason against Ulm. How dare you be treasonous against Ulm? How, how dare you, you, you fools? Got to be careful that... Oh, wow. Oh, I was really hoping we could get lucky there. I could, I could assault them. I just don't think we're going to get there. What I kind of plan to do is come here with the garrison's low artillery barrage and retake it quickly. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Nice. All right. The fact that I don't have access, though, is uh, painful. Really painful. Because I can't get there before the end of the month. He's heading back there. No. Let's fight him in the farmlands in that case. He's uh, poorly positioning himself. So I want to use the... Yep, maneuver there to get as, as there as soon as possible. Nice. We've got better everything, lads. He's just got that infantry combat ability and that cavalry combat ability. That was, in fact, a stack wipe, though. Beautiful. This guy's caught out of position. If we could stack wipe him there, that would be beautiful. But I'm quite skeptical that we will, in fact, be able to pull one off. Let's see. Got that four shock general. No. Nah. My morale is not very high, but I think we'll be fine. All right. Huge reinforcement cost. But uh, we appear to be winning this war big time. 
Doubt I can get back to Warsaw, but we should be able to siege that back fairly easily with a, with a two siege general and our cannons. Yeah. So yeah, we're definitely winning this war. 1v1ing the Poles with his large subject of Brandenburg. 1v1ing these dudes. Let's check the piece out to see how... Oh, I so badly want to declare that war. The truce is up. He's going to join the coalition. This is what I was looking for. Now, France is not in. <laughs> France is not in, so I was kind of aiming for that. Oh, my goodness. The aggressive strategy feels bad, man. It's so hardcore. This is a really hard decision for me, guys, but I'm going to declare this war. Before they jo join the coalition. I really have been desiring this land for a long time. So his, his enthusiasm is lower now. Oh, I don't have a fort from Brandenburg. Okay, we would need to take Dresden before we, or Berlin before we... Are able to even peace out. Do I dare artillery barrage again? I think I do, guys. Let's save these admin points for coring this time. Okay, that's woods. I'm going to wait for uh, greater numbers here. I'm trying to make this as decisive as possible. really vulnerable right now as he's split up. Good stuff. This is going to give uh, the Poles the opportunity to come back. There's no doubt about that. Uh, but like I said, I this is going to keep Glare out of the coalition and Nassau because he's not going to exist. But it's also going to give us that as a nice little reward. I want that bronze, and the bronze does taper off in its significance later on, but yeah, right now it's okay. Five development there already, and it's got the workshop there already. So it's a, it's a significant province. Okay, this is the better siege general, if I'm not mistaken. Now, Glare was stack wiped. Oh, I was hoping we could just piece him out. We almost can. And then this war would be over already. Wait. Really? Same thing happened again as the as years ago in this campaign. Muscovites attacked Novgorod defeat them and Novgorod calls Denmark in against Lithuania and expands down here. So uh, funnily enough guys you can see that Muscovy actually um, has taken provinces from Novgorod which were down here in Lithuanian land which are owned by Novgorod. Uh, either way I was hoping to also attack Novgorod with this reconquest CB hoping that Denmark uh, doesn't actually back them up but things kind of went awry. This war, this episode was supposed to be very smooth because Austria was going to help us out, but instead Austria is getting wrecked by the Ottomans, and most likely the Ottomans will end up with a large chunk of Hungary here, but we'll see. Get artillery barraged. Yep, 
so he's going to re-siege this. The poles are definitely coming back, there's no doubt about that. Lower our war exhaustion to help us core up. Got to keep an eye on these 25,000 Polish troops. Mecklenburg can transfer trade power to us. And we could... Uh, we could influence him. The second center of reformation here. No, this is the second time this event has happened in this game. Dang it, dude. I need my admin points. Frick. I might chill at zero stability until we lose the Republic here, guys. It's so expensive and I value my admin points. I'm really sad. Really sad that... This is kind of happening now, but overall, this hasn't been... I think we've gotten one positive stability event and uh, a few negative, at least two negative. All right, this war should be over, right? Will Nassau uh, quit? By the way, my pronunciation of Nassau, I'm just... I have no idea how to say it. I'm just assuming that's how you say it, which is probably not the case. So that was uh, kind of successful, it's just a matter of how detrimental it was against the Polish war. I mean, obviously the, we were whooping their booty and they've definitely come back, but we've got some of that nice ticking war score. So we just need to um, defend ourselves and go back out there. So good fighter. Good fighting general. Nice, we same date in there. Truce is up with Denmark. And... Uh, Our power projection is not doing very hot. We are able to make another rival once we're at peace. It might be France, guys. We'll see how we feel. All right, how strong are you, Brandy? He's got those OP ideas there uh, from his Prussian ideas, but it's in woods. River crossing would not be an issue. He's got five shock, okay. Let's just let him pass. You can pass. You can pass. We're not going to deal with that. Give me that beautiful little province there. So we can call somebody in. It's Bohemia. Uh, sure, why not? we got two sets of favors with him. Bohemia was in bad economic circumstances, but there we go. Boom. Bohemia going to pave our way for some additional success there. A huge second wind. Okay. So Austria was essentially white pieced or something. He remains intact, which I suppose is good. I suppose that is good. Remaining intact, so he's going to be a little bit of a... Uh, uh, help going into the future as opposed to just a pushover. He's kind of our enemy, but I would like him to do well against the Anatolian threat. Becoming elected emperor once again, which is pretty insignificant. He can't pass anything. I guess the uh, Protestant League is going to start uh, forming fairly soon here, guys. Yep. Coalition grows. <sighs> at least he's at peace, which means Austria being at peace, he's kind of licking his wounds, I suppose. And um, that's annoying. He's taking the war goal. Yeah, Austria licking his wounds there. Which means we're not at so much risk of him dishonoring a call to arms or something like that. Given some time, hopefully. Nice, he cancelled the progress here, just gave up. So are they coming to Krakow? Yep, in the hills. While well, stationing my troops there was worth it as it is. 
it's now low enthusiasm. And there's no hurry, I'm no longer going to spend my military points artillery barraging. But I would like to get the war gold back. Uh, wow, I'm just staggered at how strong our economy is, guys. It's amazing, our force limit is really artificially high. And uh, we do have reduced m mercenary maintenance cost. Um, with our German ideas, but it's only 15%. Like, it's... I just don't get it. I just don't get it. We're so rich. We're so badass. It's just Ulm, oh, man. Ulm is just so OP. Like, we were so small and we're a great power. <laughs> we were... We're uh, pretty rapidly here becoming strong. Before we had Nuremberg, Frankfurt, Meningen, or Lundberg, we were a great power. Which is kind of uh, fascinating. Okay, so those rebels are successful, guys. He's independent. That's actually really annoying. I think it increases the cost. Yep. He's now independent. It's kind of good. It's kind of good. Every time we fight Poland like this... It's going to increase the cost here. Is it going to increase the aggressive expansion though? I'm not sure. I think it might do, yeah. Shoot. No, oh yeah, I think it might do. It's increased aggressive expansion, I think, but I'm not sure. Well, who cares? Our aggressive expansion's high anyway, ridiculously high. Uh, the good news is that Poland just became significantly weaker. The bad news is that this guy's free. And independent and uh his force limit went up and he's gonna coalition us and he's uh got good ideas and rapidly increasing ideas as he finishes offensive and completes his idea group okay we can take diplo points Can we get the burgers happy and take the blue points at the same time? I'd have to give them more land, I think. There are so many centers of trade or whatever. It's hard to know them all now. Alright, so let's use this development cost reduction. I'm actually going to trade, uh, I want my manpower, we'll remove the morale again, put development cost. Ah, I wish I could develop this, damn it. We're coring it up. Memingen, we can't spend Diplo there. That's the perfect location to develop, but we can't spend Diplo there. Nuremberg's a pretty good idea. I'm going to wait till the month ends because I think the Burgers modifier takes a month. It was at 73 or something. No. Yes, maybe. I don't know. Either way. That's pretty cheap, man. Making it real jud. Got a workshop there already. Yeah, we could delete the courthouse. Autonomy is still fairly high, though. Yep. That's going to help out our production even more. So he's doing a little bit of cheeky base racing. Bohemia is doing work for us. I'm going to take my armies back over here and fight on our own land here shortly. Brandenburg's in an alliance with Poland. That's irritating. All right, I'm a little bit over this war, guys. I'd like it to just be over now. So it was supposed to be an absolute breeze, this war. We have a fort from Brandenburg, which means we need the actual literal occupations to be able to piece them out. I might just go for Berlin anyway. I need the occupations to be able to piece them out from Poland. And if I don't piece out Poland, then it's going to cost me a ton of Diplo points. So we are going to piece out Poland. Looks like 
looks like Brandenburg might be forced to become Protestant, whether he likes it or not. It vives a cost reduction by 20%. Excellent. That's a nice boon to our economy. We just got military points from that election. Disappointing. But he's now 633. Which is Jerd, real Jerd. Be careful. Let's go crush Brandenburg's troops here. I don't want him to siege our territory back up. All right. We're really spending the diplo points here, guys, but we've got to be strong. We have to be strong to be able to fight this coalition and fight France and fight everybody. So let's do it. Let's quickly check our production. It's at 15.34. 0.2 ducats from that. Now if we can get a manufacturer here, it's going to be in much better shape. I don't really have more Diplo points to spend. Yeah, so do we have this? Let's remove that. Try to conserve as much money as we can. Removing these state modifiers, remove that. I don't want to be paying state maintenance if possible. Okay, this was just about over, guys, and then we're going to try to Diplo vassalize Mecklenburg. For shock, Poland's walking away from this. He's going to get negative one to rolls. Oh, my relations are max with Mecklenburg. Damn, dude. Brandenburg's strong. Stupid. Oh, this is Moldavia. And he's behind in tech. Two behind. Why is he fighting so well? Feels bad, man. Why is he fighting so well? We won regardless, but they really put up a, a good fight there. I just need to get these occupations whilst also dodging his forces here. So let's go ahead and do this. And a couple months from now, we should be piecing out finally. We're below 50 power projection. That feels bad, man. But if we piece out here, we'll see. We'll see if we can get some power projection from... Nice. Getting Berlin there right when I want to piece out. Excellent. That's some additional war score. Okay. Let's reduce our war exhaustion. And I've done with developing, so let's take the 150 Diplo points. Just need these occupations here and we peace out. Oh, dude. Well, that's it. Uh, humiliate? No, we can't. No. We can take money, though. Yep, as I suspected, it didn't cost us, it didn't give us power projection because we didn't take land from our own rival. So I'm pretty sad about how this played out there, guys, those uh, rebels being successful. Uh, now, who is it that we want to rival? Probably Bohemia. I have to make sure that I have another good... alliance option though now if i right now austria and bohemia are allied so if we hate one of them we basically need to hate both of them we can return the rivalry with great britain but it's just really not going to achieve much for us i'm pretty sad power projection's not in good shape boys we could turn against austria that would give us the ability to pull muscovy as an ally but it's inevitable if we do that that we're going to be fighting like all of Europe. 
And if we go in against Austria, the Ottomans are going to be emboldened. Whew. It's a hard call. I'll have to make it next episode, guys. But the good news is we just took a huge chunk of land. Bad news is, is that we already have a coalition. And we need to go in and do something before this coalition grows. So we basically need to fight the coalition right now. Like, take Salzburg. Ugh. But he's got good diplomacy. Yeah, I have to have a think about it, guys. But we're definitely expanding. We are the mighty arm. We just took a ton of cash, which is really good to see. And uh, I might consider building this manufactory there. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next episode. <laughs> I remember ending last episode on such a good note. Over we were going to have such an easy victory over Poland. Well, look how this worked out. It took longer, more difficult. And we don't even get power projection from it. Uh, and going into next episode, I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do. So a little bit of a bummer. But the good news is that the mighty Olm, the nation of Olm, blobs out once again, taking over the world. Uh, and I'm looking forward to Diplo Vassalizing Mecklenburg if we throw some money his way, which we now have a lot of. But that's going to be next episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.